so i will just uh, give a brief about the frame when i ordered this frame uh, it comes in uh, pieces actually i need to assemble this entire frame so all of these pieces come separately you can these are the arms uh, i think four millimeter arms the rest, remaining plates are i think 3 mm uh, i think i'm wrong this is probably 3 mm and these are 2 mm 2 mm thick uh, sheets so you can see i have mounted the motor the standard fittings of a 2212 actually works on this frame i always use three uh, bolts i do not go ahead for the four bolts i find it redundant i just adds to a weight similarly here these arms are bolted to the main uh, the structure you, there are four bolts provided with nylock nuts these nuts are nylock nuts so it prevents the opening up of the or unscrewing of the nut because of the nylon ring in the nut so i use three of those because i feel this is that much necessary and then uh this is the frame so that's it i will not go into detail uh, not waste more time on this so let us start installing the motors so i need this uh 2.5 size star screwdriver uh, okay these are all socket bolts socket screws you can call them So all the motors are assembled. It looks cool. <laughs> With the golden motors. The next step is uh to solder all these four ESCs uh, to the power distribution board. So I need to that the problem again is that since these are from the previous bigger drone uh, the wires are all very length the lengthy so the wires are very long and this will this are giving me this will increasing the weight of my drone but uh, i cannot do anything about this since this is an experimental drone so we go ahead with this uh, now i need to position this pcb or uh, on the pcb the power distribution board the pdb what is called it is uh, i can place it here this is the front of the drone or i can also place it somewhere in the back now the problem is uh, there are the studs are here i have similar studs here as well i haven't used those studs okay then i what i can do is i can place my flight controller at the front and then the distribution board can be placed at the back or somewhere here somewhere here so from here you can connect all the ess so we'll do the soldering first and then finalize the position so the soldering rod is hot i can begin the soldering process i'll apply some solder paste flux on the uh, solder pads makes the soldering process much easier the distribution board is uh, is can be used to mount eight motors i'll be only using this one two three four one pair and the pair so four of these motors here So 
So I'm filling up the solder pads with some excess solder because the current that is going to pass through this will be significantly high. So we'll just ensure that no heating takes place or no, no resistance of any form is created here. So I pasted all the solders, now I can start connecting the ESCs, power cables. So the red is the positive. So, uh, if you can see this, I connected uh, two motors, four wires. Now I need to connect this other four. So I can move away the soldering kit. Okay, I have uh, removed these two studs, spacers, aluminum spacers from the front. And I will place them at the back. That way I'll have space from my uh, flight controller in the front. There, I have another pair of spacers which is placed here. They are uniformly spaced uh, if that is required. I will add that later on, but for now, I will not go ahead with that. So now, I have made space for my uh, flight controller to sit in the front. That is nice actually. Uh, and the power distribution board will sit at the back. Let me show you that. Okay, this was not how I intended it to be. So that is how it's going to sit. See that? This is the space I could find. So sit like this. Uh, so I have decided this will sit here. Uh, for this, I will use a double-sided tape to hold this distribution board in place. Okay, I have this silicone double-sided tape. I'll use this. It is fixed in place, uh, it is not very firm, uh, later on I will see if I can do something more about this. Now we need to mount the ESCs properly. So I am going to use these nylon ties to fix my ESCs to the frame. Now uh, we need some way to get this other two front ESCs in place. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that because the wires have become short. So you can see the space. This is my flight controller. Okay, 
I have an on-case space, so I have to somehow attach to this location. So I am trying to use this double-sided silicone tape here, and I will just try to paste the ESC. I hope that works. I will see if it doesn't work. We will do something else. For now, this is what I can think of. I just place the flight controller so that we don't have, we don't obstruct the space, and this will come and sit here. I paste it there. The thing is, these are all actually very large components for a five-inch drone. So that is why we are not able to find sufficient space. Okay. See this tape I'm using, silicone tape is a very very high quality silicone tape, and it works out very well actually. Once it sticks. This will stick, but the thing is, it may vibrate. So I don't know, it may vibrate. So for that, we have to find something else. But other than that, it sticks. It will not come out. So I have pasted all the ESCs, uh, mounted two of those, glued two of those in the front, and there is a flight controller. So you can see we are very close to completing the primary assembly of this drone uh, so this is a stream of all the I'm using this tie cutter I got this to clean my 3d prints it's actually very nice next thing uh, we need to do is say if I connect this I'll just connect it for now factory connection see how the wires need to be routed so this is how it's going to be we need to tie this so they actually have provided these holes i don't know what these holes were but i guess this is for the tie so i'll use it So you can see we have tied the front motor wires and trim it away for the rear side i think uh, a tie may not be required i will just attach it for now and see if it requires something later on it will just hang here it may hit the props it may actually hit the props so we need to secure this as well i'll use something i hope i can find i'll just try to stick this here with another piece of tie i'll do that later on so we have mounted all the motors secured the wires this will go into the flight controller so i need to position the flight controller as well mm. So this is the front direction. Uh, we we'll, uh, the MPU X axis. You can see it's here. The X axis is my front axis, the longitudinal axis. So it needs to sit this way. So for that, I plan to use this soft foam. I'll start with this. If it doesn't work, we'll change this. This is quite soft actually. Uh, it's soft as well as it has uh, it is like a memory foam it will give good damping i hope so square shape silicon tape at four locations one two three four and then we will place this with this foam in between okay. 